Mr. Toastmaster, distinguished members, honored guests, friends. I want to take the next few minutes to really hammer home this thing called life really to break down and understand what is going on and give us the opportunity to take what we have and make it even better. Because most people out there, there's a lot of misconceptions out in the world. Most people out there have this concept about health that's completely backwards from reality. You see, most people don't realize that health is our greatest asset. Health is our greatest asset, and most of us don't realize that until we've lost it. You don't know what you got until you lose it. Health is one of those things that is overlooked. And the reason is most folks look at their health one of two ways. Either they feel great, so they must be healthy, or they feel bad, so they must be sick. Most of, it, most of us can think of it this way. If I feel terrible, I must be sick. If I feel great, I must be healthy. Two great examples completely blow this out of the water. When was the last, anyone in here ever had food poisoning? Who wants to go through it again? Not as many hands. So food poisoning, there's poison or toxins in the body. What's the best thing the body can do? Get rid of it as quickly and efficiently as possible. Not fun, does not feel good but it's actually a perfect expression of health in the moment, and I'll explain health in a second. Flip side, 50% of people walking around with heart disease these days have no idea until they drop from a heart attack. They feel fine one day, not so fine the next. Was it an overnight bug that they caught that did them in, or was there a process going on where they weren't, didn't get this sickness that they had to get rid of, but they were losing their God-given health to begin with. Feel fine, not so healthy. We can see from these two examples that how we feel is a terrible ex measuring stick for how we're actually healing. So do away with the one or the other and look at it on a spectrum. On one hand, you've got 0% life, we'll call it. 0% life where we're no longer here. And up at the top, we've got 100% life. 100% life is alive, healthy. That's where true health and wellness resides, and that's where we all want to be. Does that make sense? So it's not that when we slide down the scale that we're gaining something we need to get rid of. It's that we've lost something that was ours in the first place. So how do we get back our life? How do we get back our health? First, we've got to understand how this process works. And so think about the miracle that is this life. However old we are, take a few years back and then go T minus nine months. Mom and dad get together. There's maybe a glass of wine, a little Barry White on the radio. One thing leads to another. Two cells come together, the sperm and the egg, and they become one cell. In only nine months, that one cell turns into 70 trillion cells. Not 70 trillion copies, but one into 70 trillion unique different cells all functioning together in perfect harmony to create a beautiful, happy, healthy baby made out of pickles and ice cream. <laughs> that one cell turns into 70 trillion heart cells, brain cells, toe cells, hair cells, all the different parts and pieces that make you up in nine months. And mom never had to think about a single one of those. She didn't have to think, grow toes, grow a heart, grow a liver. It all happened automatically. And that same power that created you from one into 70 trillion back then is the same power that heals you from the inside out and runs your body on a daily basis right now. That same power is the one that beats your heart 100,000 times today. The same power that heals a cut on your finger half the time you don't even know about. The power that made us is the power that heals us and that's the 100% that we're talking about. Perfect function, complete whole function of every part and piece in the body. But how does that work? What controls it all? Coordinates it? What's the master control system in the body? Brain. Brain and the nervous system. The brain and the nervous system is the master control system in the body. Controls and coordinates all aspects, functions, parts, and pieces. If there's a something that does something, there's a wire or a nerve that goes to it from the brain, tells it what to do. 
And the reason for that is when we were one cell and started to become this little bubble and cluster of cells before the babies formed, the first thing to develop is a bump and a stalk. That bump becomes the brain, the stalk becomes the spinal cord, and nothing else is created until that happens. Because you can't have a heart until there's a nerve that goes to where the heart needs to grow. You can't have toes until there's a nerve that goes down to where the, gro the toes need to grow. Everything from the very beginning and even today is directed by the nervous system. That life process, that life force uses this nervous system to control everything. And you can think about it like a giant electrical system. Our body is a big light bulb. Our nerves, our nervous system, are the wires going back to the power supply, which is our brain. If everything's connected and electricity's flowing over the circuit, that light bulb shines bright. If anything's disconnected, the light bulb doesn't work anymore. Now, is there anything wrong with the light bulb? No. The light bulb's fine. It's okay. It's all right. It's not bad but it's disconnected from its power. Similar example, instead of disconnecting anything, what if we just dim down the power available? So now we've got perfectly fine power supply, perfectly fine wires, perfectly fine light bulb. Even the electricity is fine, but not enough electricity is getting to the light bulb to make it shine bright. Does the light bulb light up? Yes, but it doesn't shine as bright as it could. Think about the people in our lives. We're walking around. We live in a world full of dim light bulbs. Ask someone how they're doing. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm not too bad. That's one of the most common responses I see. Not too bad is not good enough. That's where we come in. We said earlier, like, what my favorite thing to do every single day is reconnecting people to that power supply. You see, the same thing that happened to that light bulb happens in our bodies. When there's a dimmer switch on that life process, that life source, that power of God within, when there's a dimmer switch on that, we cannot live up to our God-given potential. When we're experiencing that less than 100%, we can't be all that we could be. That happens in the nervous system, when a bone moves out of place, puts pressure on those nerves, and it interferes with the control that the brain is supposed to have over the body. It dims down the amount of power available for you to be as healthy as you could be. And that's what I get to do. That's the only thing that chiropractic brings to the table. Everything else is normal anatomy and physiology. Open up a textbook, it's the first thing that you read. The only thing that chiropractic figured out was where that dimmer switch is and how to fix it. The only thing we've got is that dimmer switch and that's the beauty of my job. That's the beauty of what I get to do every single day. I get to find dimmer switches, turn the lights back on. Find a dimmer switch, turn the lights back on. Find a dimmer switch, turn the lights back on. And see that happen in people's lives. It's the most beautiful thing. It's the biggest gift that I could give. And that's what gets me fired up. That's what gets me excited restoring life, reconnecting people to their source. It's Toastmaster.